And for many students, the wait for school resumption may seem endless as the federal government on Wednesday again rescinded on its decision to reopen schools. While this is ongoing, Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda visited a school in the Lagos Island and brings this report. It's 9 a.m. on a Friday. The Victoria Island Senior Secondary School, Lagos, now looking like a ghost town. Just like a joke, in the month of March, this school was shut down in the face of the fear of the spread of the dreaded COVID-19. Only a few days ago, some members of staff had started off cleaning up and preparations were in top gear to receive graduating students for the senior secondary school certificate examinations and the junior secondary school certificate examinations based on the federal government's directive. Jeboda Olarinwaju is the principal of this school who shares more on the level of preparation. We came in to clean up the environment, cut the grass, tidy the compound and the classrooms. We got in the thermometer ready. We have the hand sanitizer and the hand wash. Some school administrators also bear their minds. For parents, some of them are not having it. They're not willing to bring their children to school unless they are assured of their safety. At Standard Bearers, we are prepared um, to have our children back in school when government does say that we can go back. Um, we have the temperature, we have the um, hand washing in place, we have the social distancing mapped out. But in a sudden turn of events, the federal government has put the school resumption on hold. An action experts find inconsistent. The countries that are thriving and finding ways to continue to continue engaging their students, to continue ensuring their students are learning, those countries had certain things in place. You know, I think about this situation and I've had conversations between yesterday and today where people have said, oh, why can't we just have these exams done online? Why can't we continue teaching remotely? But the truth of the matter is that all of this investment that we ought to have done in our education system, you know, amongst our teachers around how we've equipped them, how we've equipped our schools, you know, how we've provided devices to ensure that this could happen, how we've trained students actually to be able to write tests and exams online. So it's like all of this range of activities or events that ought to have happened that that put us in a place where if we're not in a physical school or a physical building, then education can happen and you know learning can take place or exams can take place. With the Federal Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, saying that the government would not want to put the lives of children at risk, it is unclear when or whether schools would reopen any time in 2020 or even 2021. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.